Hi everyone, this is Anthony Rees from the, from the HPE Helion uh, Cloud Consulting Team. And today I'm going to take you through an introduction to uh, HPE's Helion OpenStack version 3. Uh, version 3 is actually uh, based on the Liberty um, release. The Mataka release will be out uh, later in the year. And today I'll give you a brief introduction uh, to give you a taste of what our OpenStack distribution looks like. So let's log in and uh, take a look at the Helion OpenStack platform. So the platform uh, starts off with a, a simple dashboard, um, which is standard OpenStack. We have uh, instances tab, obviously, where you can see all of your instances that are running. We've just got one particular instance, which is running in this particular environment at the moment. Uh, you also have uh, a set of images that you can go and uh, and stand up as well. We've got lots of images in this particular sand pit. And uh, you have control of your access and security as well. So you, you can modify the security groups. Uh, at the moment, we've just got a default security group in here. So you can add ports, uh, for example, port 22, port 80, um, et cetera, et cetera. You can manage your key pairs as well. Uh, so there's a private and a, and a public portion of the key pairs for you to be able to uh, log into your instances and uh, obviously be able to manage your floating IPs. So your floating IPs are attached to your instances so that you can get to the external network. Uh, this is a multi-tenanted environment. Now the network, uh, there's a, the network topology is a little bit new in, um, in the later versions of OpenStack. Uh, so it has a bit of a, a funky sort of design. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple of a couple of networks here and routers floating around. Um, but what I did want to show you today um, is the orchestration side. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to launch launch an automation stack. So let's go and pick a pick a particular file, um, and I'm going to uh, first of all we'll, we'll stand this up. Then I'll go in and I'll actually show you the heat orchestration template. So this particular one is a two tier. Uh, application. Uh, it has two web servers and it has uh, one database server and they're all across um, two, uh, two networks in this particular case. So let's go and launch this. It will just take about 30 or 40 seconds to go and stand up. So here you can see the creates actually in progress. Uh, you can drill down into it. So if we get any errors you'll be able to see uh, where the error occurs, and you'll see one of these particular areas go red, okay? If we go back to our network topology where we were before, you should be able to see uh, my stack starting to create. So let's take a look and see what status it's at at the moment. So here it is here. You can see I've got a virtual router, and that router is talking to two networks. It's got network one and network two. On network one, we've now stood up uh, two web instances, there they are there, and one database instance there. So let's go and check those instances and see if they're up and running. So we'll go back to the compute. And here you can see uh, we've got three active new instances. We've got uh, two web instances and one database instance as well. We'll go and take a look at the logs on this particular machine. And we can see that the logs are, are showing that the machine's starting to come up uh, and run. And we'll see that that machine is actually up and running. So there we go up and running in less than 30 seconds, which is pretty quick. So how did I actually go and stand up this particular heat orchestration template? Well, let's take a look at the code. So we can actually see the code um, from, from the template. And the template shows us uh, a YAML file. So it's just the heat orchestration template uh, written in YAML. And what I've been able to do is to be able to define a set of parameters and resources. So you can see, if you remember, I had two networks. So there was uh, network one and network two. Um, I also had a virtual router as well. So these are all part of Neutron, where I've been defining these. 
And you would have also seen that um, I had uh, two, two servers as well uh, from the website and uh, one, one instance uh, from the database side. So you can see uh, I've got the definitions of the instances uh, which are in here. Here's one of them um, here. And you'll also be able to uh, see that I've got security groups uh, which is defined uh, for these particular instances too. Uh, so obviously I've got port 22 and 80 open uh, for my web and uh, I've opened up uh, the ports for the required database as well. In this particular case, it was running Oracle. Um, so I've opened up that as well. Uh, so just a very quick demo for you all just to see uh, Helium OpenStack uh, in motion. If you've got any questions, feel, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick um, overview and uh, have a great day.